Real estate market update for July 2022. Hi everyone, it's Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group, and this is what some people are doing throughout the valley when it comes to the real estate marketplace. Real estate sales have dropped 12% compared to last year. This is due to the rise in interest rates, which suddenly stopped or halted demand. But that's not the whole case because in the meantime, while sales are, were declining, inventory's on the rise. So more people throughout the valley have decided to put their homes on the market. And what they found is their home doesn't sell right away. So the active listings is increasing. It actually increased 423% compared to last year. And it went up 51% from the previous month. We predict that inventory is going to continue to rise through the remainder of the year as more sellers jump into the marketplace, hoping to capture these high prices that we've seen based on the appreciation, record-breaking appreciation in the last couple of years. Makes sense, right? You always want to sell high and buy low, so they're trying to time that top before the bottom falls out. Now, the bottom might not fall out because, you know, the average sales price is actually $572,000. It's up 22% from last year, but that's not telling you the whole story because that's year over year. If you look at the last 30, 60 days, the trends, prices haven't gone up in all, at all. In fact, in the, I reported the first time in probably 10 years, I saw new listings and price reduced listings on the hot sheet be the same amount. In fact, some days there's more price reductions than there are new listings. And we're seeing new listings come on every single day because homeowners are putting their homes on the market. You combine that with the seasonality, the hot summer market, this is when people tend to put their homes on the market anyway, so there's no cause for concern in terms of a crash because this is different than the housing market of 2008 when the housing market crashed. Jobs, there's more jobs than there are unemployed people. People's incomes are on the rise. People relocating from outside of the area to the valley is also in demand. New constructions, you know, lagging, so they're not building as many homes as we need to be on the marketplace. So there's a lot of interesting things going on where homeowners can decide to put their home on the market, sell it, maybe not for the crazy pie in the sky prices of, of yesteryear, but maybe still a really, really good price if you get the right marketing behind you, sell it and then go into the buyer's market and be able to negotiate a really good deal. We had a client here in, in Wenatchee put her home on the market and she started a little too high as interest rates went up and had to make a couple price reductions. But as she did, we were able to create enough demand. She got multiple offers and it got bid back up to where she started. So it made sense to price it really aggressively lower to get it bid up higher with the right marketing. She's now gonna take that money and move out of the area and be a really strong buyer with lots of different inventory. She's really thrilled at what, uh, what all of her different options that she has available to. Now let's look at the inventory levels. Inventory below six months favors sellers because there's not a lot of competition. Six months is a balance. It doesn't fa favor buyers, it doesn't favor sellers. Anything over six months is a buyer's market. And it really depends on your specific micro market, the price range, whether or not you're in a buyer's market, a seller's market. So what's going on in today's market? Well, if you look at homes between 300 and 400,000, there's only 2.3 months of inventory. So that those homes are selling quickly. It still favors sellers quite a lot. 30, 60 days ago, we had one month. So it's doubled, but it's still a seller's market. It's still a great time to sell in those price ranges. As you start moving up in different price ranges, 400 to 500, it starts shifting to a 3.4 months of inventory. Still favors sellers, but going more to a balanced market. There's actually 73 homes on the market in that price range, so lots to choose from for buyers. And that's just below the average sales price. So what happens at the average sales price and above? The average sales price is 575. So between 500 and 600, we have 3.1 months of inventory, right? So it's still a seller's market, lots of demand, even though interest rates are five, 6%, buyers still want those homes. But now as we start getting above 500,000, above 600,000, you go to 600 to 700, 4.8 months of inventory. That's basically a balanced market. It doesn't favor sellers, it doesn't really favor buyers. I mean, there's 41 homes on the market, lots to choose from. You're probably not gonna get into a multiple offer situation. You're, you, and the, you and the seller, if you're a buyer, are gonna work things out, come to a good agreement right? 
Homes in that price range are gonna probably take 60, 90 days to sell. And then you start getting to seven to 800, and 800 to 900, and 900 to a million, it's about four months of inventory. But something strange happens right around a million dollars. A million plus, eight months of inventory. Two millions plus, 24 months of inventory. So that high-end luxury price range favors buyers. I mean, you can get a fantastic custom-built home with no competition. Now I know, seven figures is a lot of money, especially with 5% interest rates. But the home you're gonna get is absolutely phenomenal. And we're seeing more and more people put the homes on the market. There's 28 homes on the market in that luxury price range. That, that number's only gonna increase. So, you know, if you think about it, if you own a home in that four, five, six, seven, eight range, and you're thinking about upgrading, you're gonna get a lot of activity on your home and then have lots of options with no competition. So there's always a way, you know, it's kind of like, it's always a good time to buy and sell. Well, it, it's kind of true depending on who, who you are. Now, some of, some of you, maybe it's not a good time to sell. Maybe it's not a good time to buy. It depends on where you're at and what your home's worth. If you wanna know what your home's worth, you can go to our, web, you're on our website, you can click, put your address in the bar down below Enter in your address, click report, and our computer is gonna give you an online home valuation. If you wanna know specifically what is your home's worth in today's market using our marketing, and you want one of our experts to tell you how long it's gonna take and what your options are when you sell, give us a call at 509-255-8070. That's 255-8070. There's no obligation, there's no cost. We do it for all of our clients and all the communities that we serve.